Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the single crochet post rose stitch pattern. For this pattern, you're just going to need to know how to do a single crochet. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below for my videos on how to do that stitch. So to get started, you want to chain multiples of two. All right, to start off for row one, you want to chain one and you want to single crochet all the way to the end of the row. All right, row one is done. So we will turn our work and row two is gonna be the repeat for all of this pattern. So we will chain one and we will do a front post single crochet, which means we're gonna locate where our first stitch is at. We're gonna go through the front and then we're going to go through the next stitches back. Like so. And now we have our post. And then we'll single crochet. So do a back post single crochet in the next stitch. We'll find where we pulled through for our front and we're gonna go through the back. And then go through the front. And single crochet. So it's through the front, through the back, single crochet. And the repeat for this pattern is to do a front post single crochet, then a back post single crochet all the way until the end of the row. So again, it's a front post single crochet and then a back post single crochet. a front post single crochet and a back post single crochet. Now sometimes like it, this can be a little bit confusing and stitches can be missed so I definitely recommend for the first several rows of counting and then once you start forming the pattern you'll start noticing what is correct and what isn't correct. So to finish off this row, we'll do a front post single crochet. And then since there is no post to do a back post single crochet, you just single crochet in the very last stitch to make sure that has a nice even edge. And there you have it. That's how you do the single crochet post rose stitch pattern. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. And I really do hope that you have a happy crochet day.